Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from salads, sandwiches, and chafing dish dainties of 1909, we're going to be making the imitation pâté de foie gras sandwich. I've had foie gras and I've had pâté and it's delicious. I, I've just never made it and um, this is forcing me to cook with something I've never cooked before and I'll be honest with you, it makes me a little squeamish. But sometimes you just got to lean into it. Now the instructions say to saute some onions in some butter. It does not say how much of the butter, half an onion. Now that our onions are delicately browned, we are to add five to six chicken livers. Now we have to saute these on both sides. Now we cover with chicken stock and simmer until tender. Okay, now we have to smash them with a wooden spoon. And you'll notice it's in a sieve. We have to push it through a sieve. Now it says to season with salt, it does not say how much. Paprika, it does not say how much. And mustard. It does not say how much. Now at this point, it says to cover in melted butter and store until ready to use. Well, I'm gonna make the sandwich now, so I'm not gonna do that. It's a little powdery, huh? Okay, it was a little fluffy, but now I've compacted it down and it's starting to look a little bit more like pâté. Now we put that on our bread. Okay, let's give this imitation pâté de foie gras sandwich. Go. It does not taste like pâté de foie gras. <laughs> Sorry. Um, the paprika and the mustard, it's Okay. Um, I am going to try and plus this up, but I'm not really convinced. I'm going to add some black pepper and some parsley leaves and some of the onions from the uh, braising liquid. Okay, let's give this plussed up imitation pâté de foie gras sandwich a go. Okay, that's a little better. Parsley is bringing a freshness. Onions are bringing a nice savoriness to it. And black pepper is playing well with everything. That's not bad now. I know many of you out there are probably saying there's better ways to cook the chicken livers, but I do follow the recipes as written. That's what was written. The original imitation pâté du foie gras sandwich wasn't very interesting. I'm going to give it a three and a half, maybe four. Adding in the black pepper, the parsley, the onions from the braising liquid, probably brought it up to about five and a half or six. Definitely going to finish that. I've got leftovers, so I think I'm going to go that route for the rest of it too. All right, see you tomorrow. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from salads, sandwiches, and chafing dish dainties of 1909, we're going to be making the imitation de patois.